Hello guys, I'm going to uh, replace the drum roller of this LG dryer. This is the sound of the worn out drum roller. So I ordered the drum roller to replace the drum roller of this dryer. So, but first I have to pull this out towards me and unplug it to be safe. So, uh, So we have three screws here that we are going to remove. So screwing it. So after unscrewing it, you can uh, pull it towards you, slide, lift it up. We are going to remove this front panel, but first we have to remove this tray. We use this screwdriver to, there's a tab here that locks this, so we have to unlock it. We have to use this screwdriver, uh, that thing here. And then there are two screws here that we are going to unscrew. So there are a plastic tab here that locks this on the edge. So we have to uh, lift it to unlock it. So we have to unlock it so that we can remove this uh, front panel. There. And then there are a wire harness here that we need to uh, remove this so that we can pull this all the way out to unlock this there and then this uh, wire harness there's a locking tab here so we have to press it and then pull it there this one as well press underneath there that's the locking tab and then as soon as you remove that you can pull this up so we are going to uh, unscrew all of this this here so that we can pull this out So there's another Y harness here for the uh, door sensor. We have to unplug this Y harness, pull it, and then we have to uh, pull it up. So now it's removed. So now uh, here, the location of the <clears throat> drum roller is underneath here. So we are going to remove this front. So uh, this is the light. So we have to unplug this here. And then there's another uh, wire harness here. We have to Unplug this. This is the sensor. We still have to uh, remove this plate or so that we can uh, pull this out.
secure this harness here so that when you pull this, this thing here it's not gonna damage the wire so there's a guide here four guides here that you need to uh, lift it up before you pull it out. These are the dumb holders that causes the noise. We are going to re uh, replace this with this uh, new drum roller. But first, let's check this uh, drum roller at the back here. So, for you to uh, be able to remove this drum, there's a drum belt here that you need to push a little. And then, there you can remove it. And then, for you to be able to lift the drum, try to hold the drum belt here, hold it there. This is where the belt holds so that's where I remove it so these are so this is the one that causes the noise this one here my suggestion is if we are going to replace one uh, if there's a one that's worn out already uh, for me I have to uh, replace all of it because of the lifespan if we are going to replace one we rather replace it all so we are going to use 10 socket first we have to use the 916 to uh, come to the nut And then we put this new one here. And then we tighten it. We can even just remove this from the shaft but I'd rather replace all of it than uh, removing the, this from the shaft and put the, this drum roller to the old shaft but I'd rather replace everything so that this one wears out as well eventually so I'd rather replace all of it. So this one here, use 916 for the counter here. And then uh, make sure that uh, you put the washer back here. Another washer inside there. Once you put this bolt to the lug nut, make sure you rotate it with your finger first. It's if it's smooth. So once you uh, screw it partially, then use this counter wrench and tighten it. So we are going to replace this drum roller here, but first we have to remove the cover, this cover here so that we can put this uh, 916 wrench to counter the nut and then we'll put this new one here. Anyway, I bought this in Amazon for two drum rollers for $35. This model is LG 458-1EL2002C roller assembly pack of two so, 
pull it up. Okay. So these are the nut, put this wrench here. Make sure you insert it and turn it hand tight first and then as soon as you know that it's going in smoothly <clears throat> then use this uh, power tools to tighten it. There. And then this one as well. Now we are going to put this back, the cover, so we put this here. Make sure that the drum roller, the lip or the edge of the drum, the drum roller is already catching the, the drum. And then we put this belt. Make sure that the belt is inside the guide of the pulley. And try, let's try to rotate it. The belt is aligned. And then we put this here. Make sure that you insert it on the guide here. And then for you to uh, do that, you have to lift a little the drum to make sure that this here will catch inside here. Try to rotate the drum again to make sure that it's aligned. Now we put the screw back. And then we put this wire harness back. Make sure it's you will hear the click sound on the locking tab there. Then we put this up here, there, and then we put this face plate here. Put this front but make sure that it will catch the guide here on the hole there before you put this front put this back the, the sensor the wire harness this is the door sensor it, 
that will know if it is open or closed. But there, and we put this here. Another two here inside here. There. So now the the front panel. We insert it here. You know that the plastic tab? You push it like that to lock it. And then these harnesses, we put it back. Make sure it, you will hear the click sound. That means that it locks. And then make sure that you put it in the right position because there's a guide. So there's no confusing to put it back. If you're not gonna get confused. So put the harness, uh, the harness back here. You will hear the click sound. And then there so everything is in place now and then we put this tray back here okay then we put this again because we have a tight space so we are now going to put this pop cover Make sure that you align it with a guide underneath, like a half to quarter of an inch on the edge there. And then once you uh, put it there, slide it forward. And then there's another guide here. And then we put it here. And then screw it not tight yet once you put all the screw all together then we that's the time we uh, we're going to uh, tighten it So we're now going to plug this back. So now we replace all the drum rollers with a new one. So we're now going to try how quiet it is now. There you go. So no more irritating noise on the on the dryer it's all smooth now okay guys i hope you learn how to replace the drum rollers on this lg dryer if you are looking for the drum rollers same as this part number you can find it in amazon click the link below and uh, you will find it there so thank you guys for watching please subscribe on this channel and see you on our next video.